I did not know my camera could do this. <gasps> I'm getting so excited. Look, I can turn out the brightness or I can turn it down, guys. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am having a great day because the sun is out and I have finished college early and I thought I'd do a video because that's all I do with my life is get videos out for you guys and yeah so in today's video I'm going to be doing as you can tell by the title of this video a magazine collection now I have so many magazines it's actually ridiculous so today we're going to be starting off with Elle magazines and I've got these all from my beauty boxes that I have accumulated all last year um yeah so also please ignore my hair i just kind of put a bobby pin through it because i'm feeling lazy and i don't want to do anything with it but usually i always put it in that hairband but i don't know where it is right now okay so this is my massive stack of l magazines so we're gonna start with this one so this is the one with chrissy teigen on this is what it looks like <laughs> um and I'm not really a fan of chrissy teigen to be honest that's quite an ugly photo of Chrissy Teigen. No offense, but that's what I think. The next one has got um, Zoe Kravitz on it, who honestly, I have no idea who that is. Um, yeah, I'm not actually sure who this is, but that's another magazine I have, and that's the back with um, the J'adore advert. The next one is, as everyone knows, Miss Dua Lipa in the house. Um, she is quite iconic. I do like quite a lot of her songs as well. And on the back of that one is a Lancome um, advert, I guess, for a lipstick. And the next one is really aesthetically pleasing. Like, oh my God. Love this one. This has got Alicia Vakanda on it. Don't know who that is. Um, she looks really Russian to me, to be honest. Um, and then on the back of this one is the Daisy Mark Jacobs one. And obviously there's loads of different like things in it. Let me show you. So we have that, boom, yes. Um, so that's that one. The next one is iconic. This has got Slick Woods on it. If you all know Rihanna, then you'll know Slick Woods because she has been in quite a few of her music videos, I think, or maybe just one, I'm not sure. But this is actually quite a thick one compared to like the previous one, which was not as thick. Um, but yeah, this one's got her on the front when she was pregnant and then on the back it's got a Miss Dior advert. Next one has got Margot Robbie on it um, and this is quite a colourful one, not to my aesthetic. <laughs> um, no, the colours are okay, I like the yellow, it's quite nice. Um, and then on the back is a Tiffany & Co advert as you can see there. The next one has got Miss Selena Gomez on it, boom. Um, absolutely love Selena Gomez. Um, and then on the back is Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. The next one's got Lara Stone on it. So, not sure who that is, but she looks kind of iconic to be honest. Um, and then on the back is this Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Perfume advert. So that's that one. Boom. Next one has got Daisy Ridley on it, and I'm not actually sure who she is. Never heard of her, never will experience her. She is irrelevant. <laughs> um, and then on the back, it's actually got Dior again. Next one has got Wonder Woman, Florence Machine. Florence and the Machine, Florence Machine. Florence Welch, actually. Um, so that's that on the front there. And then on the back is a Louis Vuitton advert for a perfume and that has thingy on it actually. We all know her, don't we? The next one is a, I'm not sure who this is. It doesn't actually say who it is, but if you know her, then comment down below and let me know because I'm not actually sure who she is. Um, but that's got her in it, and then the back of it is J'adore. J'adore. Yes, queen! Next one has got Winnie Harlow on it. What a queen. Um, absolutely love it and then it's like a flip book this one so it's got a Cartier advert as you can see there and then it's got a Dior with um, good old Jennifer Lawrence um, and then on the back is I think that's Gigi Hadid or Bella Hadid I can't remember um, one of the Hadids um, the more famous one I think everyone knows and that's the uh, 
Bologa, Bologa, I don't know how you say this, this um, brand, I forgot. Next one has a load of people on it, I'm not sure who they are, um, but what can you do? And then on the back is the Chanel. Whoa! What Chanel is this? Because I have Chanel, oh no, I don't have Gabrielle, I have number five. Another one, my last one actually, and this has got her on it, not sure who it is. Doesn't actually say who it is, um, but this was the July 2018 one edition, and on the back is Dior with Jennifer Lawrence again. That is all of the small L magazines, and now we're going, going on to the big magazines, and the ones that I collect the most of, and these are the ones I've actually bought. Um, the other ones I've just been given through my beauty box, so if I can, I'm gonna hold up the massive pile. No, I'm not going to. So this is half of them. Oh my god. <laughs> Starting it off is actually a good one because it's L magazine and this is the one with Rihanna. Why? Um, good old Rihanna. Um, and there was actually a tester in here of the Victor and Rolf perfume. It doesn't smell anymore. Um, but yeah, this was the one I got I think in Brussels. Absolutely iconic. But that's that one. Love. <laughs> Literally, speaking of love, love with Kendall Jenner. <laughs> um, this one is a really, really thick, really heavy. Um, this was, how much was this? I think this was like 850, I'm not really sure. But this has so many really like amazing things to look at. And it has Kendall Jenner on it. Um, doesn't say the price, which is a bit annoying. Oh, 6.99, um, cheaper than I thought, but yeah. I definitely recommend getting some of these magazines because they're really nice to have and just like look from and I love working from them for college. Next one is actually one I got free in the airport and I was so happy because it was just there and you could take them like newspapers like at a bloody London train station. Um, but yeah this one is of The Vogue and it has Ariana Grande on it, my absolute goddessly queen girl. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm saying. How much was this actually if I bought it? This would have been £4.80 if I bought this, but I didn't even buy it, I got it free. So I got one for Mia as well, I remember. Boom! Next one is a Glamour magazine with Zoella. I'm not a fan of this look at all. I wonder what she actually thinks about this look. I wonder if she ever like will say how much she hates it because I am gonna hate it. <laughs> um, no, I really don't like this look. Um, it's really cool, like the shimmer, but too much orange and her just doesn't look, whoever did her makeup just wasn't on it. I don't think anyway. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, that was two pounds, actually quite cheap to be honest, but it is only Glamour magazine, so what do you expect? So the next one is another Rihanna one, and this is the Days magazine. Um, and then it's got Rihanna, boom, and how much was this? This was 5.50, actually quite good. I got this in France again. And then on the back is a Fendi advert for shoes. Um, absolutely love this one. This is actually quite a thin one as you can see. Next one is a really thick one and this is the Vogue again with Rihanna on it. She's done so many covers for magazines, it's actually unbelievable. Sorry I'm not looking in the camera but I'm just so conscious about if it's in shot or not because I could be holding it up here and it's not in shot, so you know. Um, and yeah, not a fan of the eyebrows here but then what can I say, I showed them all off at one point didn't I? Remember that? <laughs> I do. <laughs> this had a um, perfume tester for um, Emporium Armani, boom, there. Um, but that's that one with Rihanna. Next one has got Bella Hadid on it and this is the Pop Magazine. I love this magazine so much. I love Pop Magazines. It's got 650 pages. That's what it looks like. It's such an iconic front cover. Um, how much was this? This was 6.50. And this is the Autumn Slash Winter 2018 edition. And it shimmers and it's just stunning. Next, going on to the ID Magazine. Um, this was £7 to be exact, not sure who is on front of this, doesn't actually say, but this was a spring 2018 edition, um, and then on the back is a Machino advert, it's Machino, not Moschino, thank you next, I really don't care what you say, I say Machino. The next one is, got a rip in it first of all, on the back. Um, but this is a day's machine with someone called Lulu on it, which is basically uh, my nickname. Um, and I love the shimmery, like, reflective front cover kind of thing. Um, and this is iconic, so pleasing, beautiful 
This one, I think Mia got me in France. This was two euros 95, and this is the Vogue Paris. To be honest, I've not really read half these magazines, but what can you do? Um, now going on to this magazine, I got, actually, I found this on the train, thought I'd take it because it had Kylie Minogue on the front. So yeah, don't know how much this was, doesn't say, but this was October 2018 edition, apparently. Literally have nothing to do with that one, <laughs> as I just found it. Um, this is a Young and Mindful magazine. I love these ones. These are really relaxing. I've also got a Breathe magazine here, which is so cool. I love these magazines so much. So this next one is another pop magazine. They're so heavy. It's 650 pages again. On the back is Dior advert. And on the side it says pop 38. Um, next one is something Mia gave me as well. We tend to get each other magazines if we go to different countries because we're so cute like that and our friendship's like iconic. This magazine, oh my god, it's so heavy again. This is another magazine, literally another magazine called Another. This was the issue seven, uh, seven spring to summer 2018. Um, ow, I just got a paper cut. Oh my god, 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 I'm bleeding. Um, how much was this? This was... Wow, this would be $20 in America, $20. I'm sorry, American people. Um, but yeah, that's just a page from there. Ooh, look at that. And then on the back is a Dior. I think I said that, I'm not sure. Three more to go, people. This one is another Vogue by Rihanna. I got this in Brussels when I went to Brussels with my mum. Do you remember that? Look back on the vlog, because if you don't remember it, um, this was the December issue, and this was 4 19 um, Euros, because I remember we went for December to Brussels, because um, obviously it was Vlogmas. Um, and this is the Vogue of Rihanna, and then on the back is that Jador advert, that annoying Jador advert. And yeah, this is really cool. But I just kind of get magazines for the front covers usually, because I like the front covers. <laughs> the next one is another magazine, and this has Glo Glowy? <laughs> Chloe Grace Mortez on it. And I, I think she is iconic. Not not a fan of the way she looks here, but what can you do? Hopefully I don't meet her one day, otherwise she'll look back and say, what the fuck? Me, me. <laughs> we got there finally. Um, the last magazine I'm going to be showing you is, drum roll please. Love magazine. Hey, a bit dusty. <laughs> oh God, really dusty. I think it must be on the top. The Love magazine with Kylie Jenner. I can't not put this in this video because it's iconic. Hashtag we love Kylie. Jokes, I don't like her. <laughs> so it was spring 2018, I'm guessing. Um, and yeah, and I absolutely love this one. And on the back is a Dior advert. Boom, boom. This has got a reflective love. Can you see that? That's really cool, I love it. So that is everything I'm going to be showing you in this video. And these are all my magazines. Though my magazine collection will probably grow loads eventually because I just love collecting magazines. I just love having them. They look so silly pleasing, just like lying around. Yes. Please leave a like and subscribe and follow me on all my social medias, which is Luca Bogdan IRL. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye.